Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Ruin King Let's Play. So we're back in Grey Harbor actually. We're tackling some side quests before we go on to the Shadow Isles to find the Burrow Forge so that we can fix uh, the necklace that can contain the Ruin King Viego. We need to find the fort from Necrit. Uh, that's gonna come soon, but first we have a few side quests we are tackling. And among those are a couple of bounties that we're looking at. So the Veil Jumper has been on our list for a long time. We have not found him, but I realize why we have not found him. So we're going to do this pretty quick. And then for Risa the Thunderer and Commander Ledrose, both of them are waiting for us on the Shadow Isle, which we will do obviously when we go there to find the Burrow Forge. And right before that, we will do Fathom's Pharaoh, which is a new island uh, where we're looking for the Hymn of Heavenly Motion. This is a new location we unlocked last time, so we'll visit that right after we find the Veil Jumper, who is hiding here in Bilgewater. And then once we wrap those two things, we can head over to the Shadow Isles and continue from there. So, first things first, we are in Clario's Estate, and there is one of these portals. This is not where the Veil Jumper is, but rather another one of his chests. So we're going to look for the chest in this zone right here on the top, pick it up. And the echoing voice says, meet me where the tide is lowest in Bilgewater. So basically we stole from him, right? These are all treasures that he has stolen. Uh, it's not very useful for us because he is a level 24 quest. So the items we're getting from him, I believe we just picked up, what did we just pick up from him? I thought it would be one of these trinkets. Huh. Wait, what did we find? I thought it was a common item. Huh. I should put that on, but... Regardless of what that item was, uh, maybe it's an artifact? I don't think so, though. The icon looked like a regular item. But once you found all four of his stash, he's gonna contact you like that, and we are gonna go find him. Obviously, low tide, uh, or lowest tide, is just low tide market uh, back in Bilgewater Central, where we trade the black mark items. Yeah, even though, oh wait, I went the wrong way. I did go the wrong way. Yeah, even though all these uh, Grey Harbor enemies have been upgraded to higher level, they're still quite low compared to us. We're already way over level for the Veil Jumper as well. He's a level 24, we're a level 28. So we're just gonna go smash him. And there were four of those chests in total. I think we found one in the Warrens, uh, around the Slaughtered Dock area, and then there was one on the Windrake Isle as well. So we got all four now. Last one at the Clario Estate. And now we head to the Low Tide Market. And there he is. Well, well, well. It's you, finally. You've been quite a thorn in my side, I hope you know. I'm a collector of forgotten things people leave behind. Ironically, people don't know what they have until it goes missing. You would think they would treat their things with better care, if it's a matter of so much. Hasn't anyone told you to never steal from a thief? Uh, 
I hope it was worth it. I'll be taking back my belongings now, off your dead body. Let's see, he's holding a bomb. 50k health, okay. Let's see what he can do. Immune to stun. Legendary haste, so those are pretty standard. Exits a battlefield temporarily through a portal, leaving reinforcements in his place. Okay, so we're gonna fight other things when he's gone. Deals heavy magic damage, applies combustion, deals true damage to all champions over three turns. Okay, that's not cool because the combustion stack would just deal damage to all my guys and Pike's stealth gets popped. Light damage to all champions. Okay, so it's basically a lot of damage. Nothing too fancy. All right, let's get things started. Let's get ourselves stealth first. We didn't get it, sad. Um, I don't think there's a point to taunt him because he's gonna actually all his, well, I guess his basic attack might be, I think all his attack attack everyone. So we might just use some mana because we can always heal after this. We can start shoving him back. Get some. Oh, we get. We start with a lot of tentacles now. Yeah, we can go pretty hard here. I wonder. He's not leaving the battlefield yet, and we're shoving him back too. This is probably fine. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna get to go before he goes. I'm still not stealth. I guess I can just apply stealth to myself and then get myself in the zone as well. And then. We get to maintain this stealth here. We're just gonna keep shoving him. Now he's gonna get to go here. Hmm. We should have tapped him actually. Get a concussion on him first. Even though he's still immune, does damage. Ooh. We could try to debuff him a bunch, but it would be better if I'm in stealth, I get better things. But it's hard to be in stealth now that we're all combusted. Save the all for Braum though, we gotta get out of this combustion. We can do this... Well, it's not gonna stun him, but... It will apply random debuff. Yeah, I think Riptide's fine. It hurts every turn. Get rid of that. We're probably gonna have to use this a lot, just like always. The king of debuffing. And let's see. I'm not gonna waste time healing everyone. I think I'll taunt him and use this as the heal on everyone instead. Although there's a chance he's. So he his stun immune should. Okay, it doesn't. Huh. He still gets the eight turn stun immune, even though he's infinite stun immune. That's kind of weird, but that's fine. Mm, we should tap him again, I guess. Okay, so we marked him. Now that every time we hit him, we should be able to heal a little. Yeah, three, 306 each time. Oh, wow. That hurt. So we're still going to do this first. And we're... Oh. Okay. Much easier to kill. We're gonna heal our buddy back. Taunt. Okay. So they're gonna hit Ilaoi. She's exposed. Takes more damage. I think we can grab it back, though. Yep. Grab back the taunt. Just gonna hit these. Let's try to maintain stealth now. I'm just gonna save my mana for now. And the ult charges. Got the stun. Just gonna do the easy stuff. Until the big guy comes back. Ooh, return. Let's do it. Oh, okay, we force him back. So, let's start shoving him. And 
then we're gonna give him. We're gonna give him the mark first. Could probably use one and get away with it. I'm also stealth, so that's a pretty good time to do it. He's only gonna attack Rom, so he's still doing the basic. Alright, we're gonna shove him back now. Wait, 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 wait. It said Brom, and then we hate allow you here. Why? Do I care about getting back in stealth? He's still stun immune, that's for sure. But he's pretty low health. He's below 30%. What is this? Oh, shield. Uh, I'm max shield, so I don't care about that. If I pop a crit on this, we could kill him. Best chance to pop a crit might be this. Uh, do I care about the extra money? I guess I do. Let's set it up. We're not going to maintain um, Are you ready to face the stealth, so we're just going to give up on that. See what we need here. We could do the thunder. Against all though, it's kind of a waste. It's not a lot of good single target. This is her best one. And we'll use a little shield. He's gonna stack some ability. He left! No! Hmm. That was a little bit unexpected. Alright, I'll grab it back. We'll tap both of them. Yeah, switch to target. At least we got the extra gold on him as well, so that's that's fine. Gotta get rid of that combustion on her, or else we can't actually get uh, Pike into stealth. I guess we Poro here. Mm, we'll just do the regular stuff for now. Okay, it's gone because of the Poro. We are stealth. The thing looks pretty good. Force him back. So he's just gonna straight up die here. Not sure if Brom can pull him. Yeah. He's, he's just going to die here. He's going to queue up for something, which will happen way behind. I could just... Uh, do I want... I'm not going to be able to get the extra gold. We could just kill him. Time's up. Sunk him. We are well. Okay, how many... It doesn't say how much black mark we can get for this. Maybe it's not used to be trade. Yeah, that's not going to be very helpful. At least we got a decent amount of experience. What good are these trinket if they carry no blessing? They seem to inspire weak men, cause them to stagnate. This Veil Jumper, they were not on the list, but they were a worthy adversary. Was he though? At this level? This token, I feel like I've seen it before, perhaps in a dream, a memory from another life. Okay, so the token might be a quest item. It's called the Midnight Fox, okay. That makes sense. So that, that was not that token, that might be what we found in the chest earlier. Yeah, ooh, oh, we bought that, right. Wait, didn't we buy this? Yeah, we bought that. We can buy more. Hmm. I don't know if I want more of the same. Well, I kind of want to give one extra... Uh, I guess we'll, we'll think about that later. Let's head out. We pop a heal, and then we're going to go on the ship.
Oh, bounty board too. He has another reward for turning it in. Midnight tunic. Money and more black mark. We'll grab that. Now, does Yasuo need that? Uh, yeah, technically. It's not upgraded or anything. It's not better, but um, we'll pop it on. We can always upgrade it later. Quick rest. And off we go to Fathom's Pharaohs. There's also a new fishing spot, too. Yeah, Fathom's Pharaohs is the other side quest location. There's also this fishing area, which might contain the Hallbreaker. Although, I think the Hallbreaker is in the Hunting's Ground. There's the level 28 uh, bounty. We'll do that later. We'll do that after we get done with the other two bounties. Right now, let's just go here. This is also another burrow area, so having Ilawi here is fine. We might need to swap some other guys for other parts of the dungeon. Side callers. War master. Increase crit chance. That's good, actually. That means Brom can get a lot of free shield. We'll kill her first, because we'll keep him alive to give Braum extra shield. There we go. Ah, she picked up a shield too. Not one of those, like, um, room boons. It's a standard boon. He got stunned, she got extra damaged. There's a second group too, so I guess we won't we'll use our bar just yet. Try to get as many extra turns as we can here. <laughs> Perfect, she's dead. Again, four in a row. That's oh, massive. Okay, a lot of these War Master. Why does. Yeah, the, the name wasn't being displayed for a second there. I guess it's the first turn thing. Every time there's like a first turn effect after you switch groups they carry over the the tags from the previous one it's a slight coding bug i guess depends on how you see it we'll try to smash everyone here and pike has a bunch stashed as well but he's mainly single target i don't even think he has one that's not single target so i guess we'll do this Equal opportunity. Go to the bottom. Everyone has a chance to get slashed by me. The crits are hitting for like 1k. They're dead. Lowie has another one too. Oh, that one survivor. Well, he's gonna kill himself with all those debuff stacks. We're born knowing what to do. We must only act. Okay. Not a lot of experience. These are three levels beneath us. Also not very hard to kill. Okay. How how good is that idol? Ah, a lot better than what we're carrying. So it's also epic, so that's great. We're actually not using a lot of good stuff. That's the thing. Hmm. I like the 25% chance to get stealth, actually. I think we'll keep that. Wait, is Braum using... Braum should be using this. We can probably upgrade it for him as well. Seems good enough to be worthy of upgrade. Um, I think 
I think it's already blue. Is it already blue? Brom, 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 Brom. Yes. Perfect. Ooh. Brom hears a Poro nearby. Where? Wait, where? Hmm. I'm gonna get hit. No, I'm not gonna get hit. Good. He almost went before Brom was able to do that. boost. Okay, I love the crit. Good job. Retag. Let's just stun him. There we go. And I guess we could join the fun. Do a quick one. I picked up a room where every time a poison or bleed ticks, I get to overcharge. So that's the red animation on Pike. He's just picking up a lot of overcharge. The only thing that I don't like about his abilities is it's all single target. It's great for boss fights, not necessarily the best for situations like these. Try to pick up some extra gold from one of them. Because we're probably gonna end up AOEing a lot of people right here. There we go, that's one. And we'll just tap him to death. Although I kind of want to put the taunt back on, which is not on anymore. Hmm. That should be okay. We don't have a lot of tentacles, so this is probably good. The alternative would be Brahms level two, which would stun everyone. But they already have stacks, so I'm sure we can get that back up. No problem, especially if we can get an easy kill here. Now we taunt up. And we just tap. We'll get the stun on this one, because they're both stunned. I got a free turn. Let me Riptide a couple... Uh, not Riptide, Plunder. Um, I'm fairly sure I can pop the crit. Yep. So that should be a kill. Even boulder tracks. How do we make sure Braum ends up full health before this? I guess we could just push, right? Get out of the zone. I could heal Brom and then let him tick to death herself. That way we end the battle full health. Oh no, she's not gonna tick because she has the... Oh, I forgot, she... Yeah, it wasn't a turn. It was the resolution turn for her. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I think all we have to do is wait for Yilaoi to have another turn. Like I, I just chill. I don't want to use that though. I can kill though. On kills, I can, uh, I can just oh this one. Yeah, this would be a, a post be pre combat resolution. It wouldn't be like the post combat heal. So he'll end up full before the combat is over. And we should pick up some extra experience. Hopefully. Yep. Okay. 40, 48 divided by 6, 8 points. It, it's something. It's 10% of our total gain here. Where's that Poro, though? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's an angler. Wait, wait. I smashed him. 
Wait, did that not apply? Smash him twice. Motion is off. Yeah, it didn't apply. That's lame. All right, let's get stealth. Okay, he's gonna hit everyone. So much for stealth. Oh, no, he just messes us up. Okay, um, that's slightly different, but Pike will lose his stealth on his action, so that's kind of bad. Wonder if we can stun him. Mm, no, he doesn't stun. Okay. Annoyed. He is, he, he is bleeding, so we could get the guaranteed crit. Get a shield, everyone. We'll cleanse when we can. In the meantime, we'll tag him so that we can heal off of him. And here's the cleanse. And he's gonna apply it to us again, I'm pretty sure. But, uh... We'll cleanse that when we can. I think that would probably kill him. This is a guaranteed crit. He gets to go again. So much for our full health finish. Okay, so he didn't die. Can you feel the ice? Slightly. That's gonna kill him right here. Maybe I can. Yeah, I have enough tentacles. I'll heal myself back up. Oh, it didn't kill him, but we still got to heal back up because of the tentacles. Back to the list. Level 10 drop? What is this? He's a level 25. Alright, let's find that portal. The fire started while I slept. The irony is not lost on me that embers I thought dead stirred to life, waking me only when the smoke was thick and choking. Too late to run, then all was aflame. Now in death, I prefer to let smoke remind me of you instead, of winters at your side, too few in hindsight. Reading in the light of a blazing hearth, fire with our fingers interwined, keeping the cold at bay. The shadow isles are always bitterly cold, and there is little to keep warm by other than remembered heat. But memories grow confused with time, indistinguishable, and the hearth you, the fireplace, the embers, the flame, your face by flickering firelight. You whisper my name as the fire consumes me. I smell my flesh burning. It is a fight to keep the memories distinct, but I must so that something of me remains untouched by fire. So that is it mem- so- wait. So that is it your memory alone that keeps me warm. Eternally yours, name smeared. It's a lovely love letter. How do we get past over there? Brom hears a poro nearby, but where is this poro nearby? Is this a brokeable wall? Ah, perfect. Those are definitely traps. Hmm, that dark trap and that narrow space does not look fair. Hey, Brom has an idea. In this section, your regular dungeon ability has been replaced with Raid Shield. Ah, oh, nice. I guess we probably have to change directions. Yep. Ah, it's a lost pearl. How did you, how did you get stuck here, little one? What's that? You need my help to escape? Don't worry, my shield will protect you. Let's go. Protect the pearl from dart trap. Are you ready to escort? Yes, we are. Let's go, little one. Let's go. What? Wait, how?
Yes, please stand behind my shield. Come on. No, Ugh, that was, I mean, it timed out by itself. I didn't hit anything. Hmm. This is a little bit harder than I thought. So the poro is just going to go by itself. I, I'm just supposed to stand here. And then stand here. No. Hmm. It times out before the next one, which is weird, because it didn't do that before. Like it auto timed out after a couple of hits. Oh, maybe it can only take so many hits. Yeah, see, that's weird. I If it only can take two hits like that, either I have to not get on early, which is probably... Or I have to put it back up real quick oh we're, we're ready wait wait he's I'm stuck in the dialogue hmm it's a little buggy to be honest like now it's yeah it's it's completely bugged out <laughs> oh oh it came back it came back wait did, see the poor is not even visible anymore <laughs> Uh, now it's near impossible. Yeah, I can't see it. Oh, it escaped by itself. So it, it bugged out to our benefit. This is my Poro, silly me. I forgot to do the introductions. Poro meet Poro. And Poro, this is Poro. We just met. You must tell me how you got into such trouble. What's this? Where did you get such a thing? Poro noises. Ah, that makes complete sense. Good to know. Well, off you go, little one. Take care. I know. I liked him, too. Ah, we got an item. Wait, I don't need to inspect. I need to change that on. Level 25. We'll take it. So yeah, it bugged out for sure. It was very buggy, but um, we ended up completing it. So that's that's the important part, I guess. Now, how do we get over here? Maybe the door opens from the other side and we can pick up whatever is waiting for us there because there's no path under that tree. Yep, we're good. Let's continue. Okay, those shadows definitely are something here. Their big environment puzzle. We'll get the chest first. Ah. They rotate differently, obviously. This one rotates all four. This one rotates three of them. So if we get the spacing correct. Okay, okay, I see, I see. This one rotates two of them. And that one only rotates the last one. Oh, that's so close. Oh, he rotates these two. Hmm, not quite. This might be a harder puzzle than I think. Please be the. Oh, I was hoping that was the other arm.
We might be okay, actually. Ah, so close. No, not quite. There we go. Woo. We got the him. That was not a long dungeon. Let's just say that. I still don't know how to get over there, though. Might require misfortune, I think. Usually with dungeon path that's not so obvious, it's probably her. So we'll eventually have to make a return run here. We pick up whatever's behind that door and those two things. We can probably make that return run now, actually. Because we need to heal anyways. Oh, well, we'll refresh the... Okay, we won't heal, we'll just switch party. Which I don't think refreshes the, the rooms. So we'll get rid of Pike and pick up Misfortune real quick. Since this is such a small dungeon, it should be pretty quick. There we go. It is her. Wait, wait, we we did something, but it's not letting me. Wait. I I interacted with something, but it didn't show me a path. It's a little bit weird. Nope, can't walk that way. But there was definitely something that we did. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna ignore it for now. Once we figure out in the future, we'll come back and do it. I think we're still gonna stick with Pike, though. I like him quite a lot, and we will take a rest. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done. And off we go to the Borough Grottos, where I think we turn in this hymn. I kind of forgot who the quest giver... Okay. Or her. It's a him. How goes the search? Have you explored Fathom's Pharaohs as of yet? The burrow man asks. The Naga encroach when we are vulnerable like spineless beasts and risk stealing the hymn of heavenly motion. We turn the scroll to him. He takes the scroll of hymn of heavenly motion in his hands, opens it and starts reading it. A smile shines across his face. This is it. You found it. It's back in our hand. Safely, he says. Once our priests and priestesses return, we can drive the Naga out uh, out again and return it to its proper temple. But for now, at least there's no risk of losing it, he says. You are champions by any measure. Naga Kaburos, bless you. This is for you. Take it. Cash. All right, so we did our side quest. The rumor boards are pretty much cleared. We can go back to the Shadow Isles. Assuming there's nothing new. I feel like we got everything, though. That's the Shadow Isles. That's the Shadow Isles as well, this side quest. And these two are both Shadow Isles. So we're, we're solid. I think the only thing we can do is make sure that we're not missing anything new on the bounty board real quick. Nope, we're good. 
still the same three. And we didn't level up, so I don't think there's going to be new items. What about new rumors? Nope, we are completely good. So before we go, there is obviously that new fishing spot. We're going to check that out. It might have the hall breaker. Okay, it doesn't. But it definitely should have really, really good fish. Why am I not using E? <laughs> Still thinking about raising that shield. Wow, this can throw far. Okay, maybe too far. <laughs> Gotta pull it back. I hope we can get a chest on this run, because I want to know what level chest we're talking about over here. See if it's worth repeat runs here. And I believe the ocean ones like respawn after a certain time. It's not just like go back to the heal point, use the heal, uh, rest to uh, reset it. Because I think I was farming on the other fishing spot before this one was shown to us, and it didn't work like that. Ooh, dark jellyfish. I don't think we need to throw it that far. Yeah, literally all of them are. That There's one that's farther away. That one might be the treasure chest. If there there is one in this group. Perfect. Most of these are still familiar beasts. And our rod's really good. 27 rod and bait. Both epic tier, I believe. Please give me a chest. Might be the farthest one though. Oh, there's actually two swimming that way now. I wonder if there's going to be like a big fish waiting at the farthest spot that you catch only when you throw it to the farthest location. Please be the treasure chest. I think this was the one that was way out from the beginning. Nope, but it's a new fish. So far. Little one swam back. Okay, hold on. We can just cancel that one. <laughs> About the same location, to be honest. up here oh, I thought it was gonna bite for a second at least we got a decent amount of fish to trade in for black marks even though we didn't catch a chest here at least we've been here already so next time when I come back it's probably just not gonna be recorded just gonna be on the grind we're gonna go to the drown port We're back. We're back. Do you have new rumors? No. I guess the rumor boards are shared. There is the side quests, two of them here. One of them is the... Is Necrit City in the middle? Wait, why do we have two here? Oh, that is, Necrit is sitting in the middle. Okay, so we're gonna talk to him. So, 
you return, and the ruin king has been unleashed. He moves slowly toward Bilgewater, destroying all in his path. We have vowed to save the city. We have an amulet which can stop him, but he has already corrupted it and dulled its magic. There is a Buru Forge hidden somewhere on these isles. A place of power like that could purify the amulet. Ah, yes, the Buru Forge. If I recall, it is hidden deep inside a nearby vault. You will take great interest in that vault, Ari. Me? The Vesani made use of this particular vault. You may find echoes of the ancestors you seek. From the Vesani's footsteps. I will certainly try to follow them, scholar. We will be in your debt. It is I who will be in debt. I've longed for the day when champions gather to fight back the mist. Alright, so we can teleport straight to it. Um, we'll end the episode here. We'll come back. We'll talk to the other quest giver as well before we actually teleport away. Um, and then we'll continue from there. So, see you guys next time. Bye!